the shouts and the tumult arise again, this time two continents away in Innsbruck. The British team, led by Britain's gold medal hope, skater John Curry. The stadium is filled with an excited crowd of 60,000. The team from Japan, bearing the Olympic flag. The honour of lighting the Olympic flame goes to Austria's Josef Feistmantel, a gold medal winner of Olympics Park. Because this is Austria's second time round as host, two flames are lit. Feistmantel hands the torch to the women's downhill winner of 1964, Crystal Haas. The Winter Olympics of 1976 have begun. Now to action. That most thrilling of events, the bobsled, contending the West Germans. A good time, 3 minutes 44.99 seconds, and that will put West Germany in second place. Now it's East Germany's turn. By just under half a second, gold to East Germany. The figure skating. Russia's Irina Rodnina and Alexander Zaitsev are favourites to win. That superb performance gives the Russian pair the gold. But out in the crisp Tyrolean air, it's grace and speed in the men's downhill event. A hard frost makes the course fast and dangerous. The Italian Herbert Plank starts the gold rush. Eventually, he settles for bronze. Britain's Conrad Bartelski, but this isn't to be Bartelski's day. From Switzerland, Bernard Russi. Russi gets the silver. Now the man on whom all Austrians have pinned their hopes, Franz Klammer. Klammer's performance is breathtaking. Clamour of Austria. He's won himself an Olympic gold, and he knows it. 